Uh, what a nice day. Sailing to Lower Aresia. But it gets this amazing frog in. Alright. At Lower Aresia, guys. They have one posture too, so. Uh, oh, oh. I mean, I. Oh, these these guys can look kind of tanky. I don't know if I should. Should uh. Hey guys, H how you doing? Whoa! Ah! Stop! Please, please! I, I have a family. Please, I have a family. No! Easy. Back in the olden days of first one. Making a deep woken build was so much more difficult than ever imaginable. True verse 1 builds required so much luck that to make a perfect build you would have to wipe over and over again. In today's video, I will not only be going over the difficulties of making a verse 1 build, but also the luxuries that were not obtainable in verse 1. For the first part of the video, we will be discussing a deep woken mechanic that belongs in hell, luck the surefire way to get rares and legendaries were to obtain luck. Once the update that showed luck came out, people could tell if they had the minimum 23% luck, or if they had the maximum 43%, or anything in between. The way of obtaining luck was to kill players that were higher level than you, making Chime a Conflict the number one way of obtaining luck and giving Chime its only use in verse 1. This also led to what's happening in the clip shown previously, as Max Leffels, typically Azure Flame Shatter Katana Royal Pathfinders, would kill Freshies and say it's for luck. Eventually, this mechanic was removed, but it was a major pain to deal with as it did not guarantee rares or legendaries, it only increased the chances of getting them. Speaking of rares and legendaries, your build in verse 1 was judged off how many rares and legendaries, specifically legendary cards, you had. A really good amount of legendaries was around 6 or 7, and the only guaranteed way that you could get a legendary, or the only level up that guaranteed a legendary, was your last level up, your power 60 level up. In verse 1, a lot of cards that are rares, now such as Exoskeleton, were legendary, making cards needed for builds extremely hard to get. It's not just that legendaries were hard to get, even common cards were slightly more difficult to get without things such as Shrine of Chance and more importantly, Mystic. Because of Mystic being in the game, we are able to obtain any talent that we choose from giving simply 20 notes and choosing the correct dialogue which can easily be found in the Deep Oaken Wiki or Deep Oaken Build Maker. Because we have these things now, it is so easy to obtain those simple little common cards that we need for our build, but in verse 1, that was not a option and we had to use just our prayer to the deep woken gods to get the cards that we needed. The next part I will be going over is the amount of HP cards that differed from the ones in verse 2. In verse 1, almost every card in a hand had some amount of HP, whether that ranged from 1 HP to even 10 HP with being health pack. Which meant that a lot more of your HP relied on your talents versus now, which all of your HP basically relies on your HP kit with a good amount of HP from talents being around 65 or 70. The final part that we will be finishing off with for this section of the video is the luxuries that we have in verse 2. In true verse 1 fashion, there was no Mystic, no Voidwalker, no Deep Shrines, enchants were so much harder to obtain, and so much more. Once you reached max level, there was no way you could reroll talents or min-max slash fix your build. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe as it not only helps you watch my content, but it also helps me out a ton. If you guys would like to see the part two that I will be doing, that I plan on doing, which is how hard was progression in verse one, where I actually made a build using basically verse one progression, let me know. And I'll see you guys.